Welcome to Eastern North Carolina and the town with a name found on grocery store shelves nationwide. I was born and raised here in Mount Olive. It's a great town to grow up in. Anywhere you go, you can find somebody that has a connection with the pickle plant. The Mount Olive Pickle Company, in business nearly a full century right here. Well, today we are standing at the corner of Cucumber and Vine. We relish the opportunity to talk about pickles in Mount Olive. Mount Olive, at the turn of the last century, in the early 1900s, was a really small commercial center that served a really broad agricultural area. So farmers would bring their crops into town and sell it to some of the produce brokers and it would ship up to markets up north by train. They say necessity is the mother of invention. Lynn Williams, the company's public relations manager, says in the 1920s the town found itself in, well, a pickle. There were cucumbers, bumper crops of cucumbers. They grew well here, but there wasn't much of a market. So the local business people reasoned that if they could create a new market for farmers, that the whole town would benefit. So in 1926, this group of business people came together and they established the Mount Olive Pickle Company for the purpose of packing and selling pickles. In the very beginning, it was a small operation. By the 1930s, we had maybe 15 employees. And for many years, we operated as a good regional brand. But all of our lids said Mount Olive. And there was a newspaper survey about different products in South Carolina, and the number one brand of pickles was Mount Olive but there wasn't a Mount Olive brand. So then the folks here realized we might be onto something. So we began to consolidate all of those different brands into one Mount Olive brand. And today we're the number one brand of pickles, peppers, and relishes in the country. She says paying attention to consumer demands paid off. We've not been around for 95 years because we didn't pay attention. We've added a lot of items over the years to appeal to different consumer interests and needs. The company packages everything in Mount Olive and employs around 1,200 people year-round. We're actually procuring about 240 million pounds of fresh cucumbers and peppers in a year's time. Our year starts in May and we're in the Georgia crop. In North Carolina we're in June. We're going to buy a third of everything we buy in a year's time, pretty much in the month of June out of North Carolina. Then we're in the eastern shore of Maryland and Delaware. We're in the Midwest by July and August. We go up into Canada. And then in the winter months, we're getting out of Florida and Texas and Mexico and India. We get some pepperoncini from Greece. We get uh, a roasted red pepper product that's actually grown and packed for us out of Peru. It's pretty much a global thing to keep us going year round. Most of those fresh cucumbers get washed and sorted. Some get packed whole while others get sliced and cut. It goes to the packing room and the product is actually placed in the jars, the fresh product. We add pickle juice, that's the good stuff. It gives it the flavor. We seal the jars, it goes through our pasteurizer. On the other side, we're adding the label, the production code information. We're putting it in the trays, wrapping the trays, building the pallets. And from there, it goes to one of our warehouses here in Mount Olive. But not every cucumber makes it into a jar right away. The fresh product actually are our kosher dills, the bread and butters, all those peppers that we love that are so good. Probably 70% of our product line is fresh pack. But the other kind we pack is processed. Remember I told you we get 50 million pounds of fresh cucumbers in the month of June? Well, we can't possibly pack all that. So we put our excess in our brine tanks. We have about 1,200 of those brine tanks on our tank yard and when they're full it's 40 million pounds of cucumbers that's floating around in that salt brine solution outside. But we make relishes and salad cubes out of that, our sours and our sweets. From the brine tanks the pickles make the same journey through the packaging as the fresh pack products. Williams grew up right here in Mount Olive and says her hometown company keeps the community in mind. Our goal has always been number one to have a quality product because we got to make money to do what we do but we also have a commitment to our community and to our region and to make sure that the original vision for the company continues, that we continue to help make this a better place. And so that's been a part of our traditions and our values and our brand since the beginning. One of those traditions makes Mount Olive look like the Big Apple with the annual pickle drop to ring in the new year. Then each spring, the North Carolina Pickle Festival takes over the town, celebrating all things pickle. The event is complete with fried pickles, a pickle eating contest, and a chance to meet the official Mount Olive Pickle Spokespickle, Ollie Cucumber. 
Mayor Ken Talton says the festival pays dividends for this small eastern North Carolina town. It helps to showcase the people, it helps showcase the pickle company, showcase businesses, civic organizations. It's just a great opportunity for, for Mount Olive to share with the world how special our community is and why it is so special. The company's impact on the town goes beyond fun traditions. I think over the years, Mount Olive Pickle Company has provided a level of stability. You know, we've helped generations of folks come to work, buy their houses, send their kids to college, and retire comfortably. I mean, and, and that, that, that's a huge thing in, in the small eastern North Carolina town. We don't make rockets for NASA. <laughs> You know, we make your burger better. And I think we've also helped generate a lot of a sense of community pride. I mean, you can go anywhere in the country and, and go walk in a grocery store and find a jar of Mount Olive pickles on the shelf. Mount Olive would not be Mount Olive without Mount Olive pickles. And we value what they have done for our town and its people. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Turzis reporting. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.